you peoples of YouTube! Today, we're going to be remaking another fairy tale in Minecraft! So, without further ado, hope you enjoy the Steadfast Tin Soldier! Once upon a time, there were 25 tin soldiers. They were all made from the same tin spoon. How big is this tin spoon? I don't know, but we're just gonna move on from that. They were all made from the tin spoon and then just all put into a box together and lived happily together inside of this box. One day, this box was given to a small child as a birthday gift. And when they opened it up, they were all like, Hurrah, tin soldiers! And they pulled out one of them. However, this one, this one was a special tin soldier because it only had one leg. But the child loved it anyways because one leg, pog. However, these tin soldiers were apparently sentient because when this tin soldier was placed on the table, it just so happened to look across and see... Da -na 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 -na, another one-legged toy! However, this toy was special because it was actually just a paper doll and it just stood there looking all pretty and it actually did have two legs but one of its legs was raised so far behind it because it was a dancer that it just couldn't be seen. However, the little tin soldier was quite steadfast and apparently proper so he just kind of sat there and stared at the dancer not, not saying anything because okay then just gonna creepily stare at a paper doll. Alright then, feeling great. However, as the tin soldier stared at the paper doll, all of a sudden there came a chiming sound and out popped from the nearby Jack in the Box, the Jack of the Box. And they were all like, yo, bro, keep your eyes to yourself. However, the tin soldier paid absolutely zero heed to the Jack in the Box and just kept staring at the dancer because, okay then, you're... You're actually starting to creep me out a little bit, guy. And so the Jack in the Box, being a little bit miffed at just getting absolutely ignored, was all like, okay then, just wait and see what happens tomorrow then, schmuck. The next morning, the Tin Soldier really wasn't that alarmed. Since they were just sitting there having a nice time, the children took him out, put him on the table, were playing with him, having a great time. The dancer was still there and he just kept ogling her, because that's, that's what you do, apparently, if you're a one-legged Tin Soldier. Until... All of a sudden, the window flew open, either from the wind or the jack-in-the-box, no one knows, and the one-legged tin soldier went flying out. When the tin soldier fell out the window, the children desperately searched to find their favorite toy along with their trusty adult. However, unfortunately, they just couldn't find the tin soldier, because it was just so small and lodged so firmly inside of the path. R.I.P. Tin Soldier. Soon after, the children and their trusted adult had stopped looking for the soldier, along came some other children, just as it started to rain. And they found the soldier sitting all alone on the path, and they were all like, oh wow, idea. So they made a boat, out of newspaper, of course, that they could send the little soldier sailing away in. The children shoved the tin soldier into the newspaper boat, and then watched as he drifted away on the newly made river of rainwater. The tin soldier continued to drift right up until they came across a rat that was sitting there and it was all like, Broski, what you doing here? And the tin soldier, being ever so steadfast, was all like... And the rabbit was all like, to pass here, you need a passport. And the steadfast tin soldier was all just like, the passport rat is getting pretty annoyed at this point. I mean, gosh darn it, all it wants is the steadfast tin soldier's passport. It's not that hard. However, the steadfast tin soldier's boat continued to drift down the river, taking the tin soldier alongside it. However, after all of this bumbling and tumbling in the river, the poor newspaper boat couldn't take any more and just got destroyed and demolished. It was very, very sad. However, this caused the steadfast tin soldier to just tumble right down into the water where it got mercilessly eaten by a fish. Ha ha! Now, the tin soldier didn't much appreciate getting eaten by a fish, but what can they do? They're eaten by a fish. Ain't much you can do. So they were just like, well, let's be steadfast. So they calmly sat and chilled within the stomach of the fish. Suddenly, the tin soldier was basked in light as they were removed from the fish by, wouldn't you know it, the cook of the house that they were originally in. Yay! 
the tin soldier looked over the table and saw much to his delight that the dancer was still there still standing on her one leg the tin soldier found this amazing the fact that as he had stood so steadfast even while he was just getting eaten by a fish and chucked off a boat the dancer had also stood steadfast this whole time yay steadfast buddies forever just as the tin soldier was being quite happy with their fortune to be back in the house with the pretty little dancer all of a sudden one of the children was just like well today's the day for being mischievous and just grabbed the tin soldier and yated it into the oven why did the child do this i don't know no one knows maybe it was the jack-in-the-box who put him up to it guess we'll never know as the tin soldier sat inside of the oven, melting away, he steadfastly stood because, gosh darn it, I may melt, but we're not gonna be crazy, we're not gonna weep, we're not gonna even speak. And he just sat there, and he stared up at the glorious dancer being all like, well, at least I gotta see her one last time. However, as the tin soldier was thinking this, all of a sudden a gust of wind appeared out of nowhere, and it blew the pretty little dancer into the oven with him. Wah ha And so, as the tin soldier continued to melt in the oven, he watched as the love of his life fluttered down next to him and then just burnt to a crisp. The next day, as the cook was cleaning the ashes out of the oven, they came across the poor, poor, burnt remains of the dancer. And right next to them, they found a hunk of tin. However, it had been remelted and remolded into a heart. The end. Well, that's the end of the steadfast tin soldier. Seems like a lovely, lovely love story if you're into the whole Romeo-Juliet dual death everyone dies type of thing. Hope you guys enjoyed.